Hello traders here, Chris Capri, SecondSkiesForex.com, where we change the way you think, trade, and perform. For the last two years, I have been working on some side projects. One of those is a trading application that we're now in private beta testing, and we're going to be announcing very soon, so keep an eye out for that. But we haven't been quite as active on YouTube lately, and we are now going to be beginning a new series we are, we are going to be regularly answering questions from the community. And these are the kind of questions where, you know, I get them and I realize like, oh, this is such a great question. It's a question I'm sure many traders are having and experiencing. And these are the kind of questions that I want to answer, not just for one person, but for everybody. And these can be members of my paid courses or they can, these can be members of my, just the community, people who just come to the site, really value the free articles and videos and content that we provide. It's really, an opportunity to speak directly with you and really help answer some of the challenging questions that you have been facing. This week's question comes from Dennis and Dennis had emailed me and as I was writing my answer to him I realized this is the kind of question I think everybody should hear and everybody should get an answer for because it's such a good question and it gets that it gets it really a, an experience and a mindset that I'm guessing a lot of you know newer developing struggling traders are experiencing. And I'm sure you've asked yourself. And so if you've asked this question, then you can, you'll be able to relate to Dennis's experience and hopefully benefit from this particular answer that I'm giving him. So let's get into Dennis's comment here. Dennis comments here, Hi Chris, I want to ask, since you don't wait for confirmation, how do you know the exact price to put your limit order? Price can come one pip shy from your entry and reverse without filling you. It could also false break the level and stop you out before reversing. Price could also blow straight through the level. How do you manage these uncertainties and still come out profitable in the long run? Dennis, this is such a good question. Thank you for asking this. So your first, you really kind of have two questions here and you're really kind of talking about a few different scenarios that you've experienced and you're not really sure like, Okay, these are scenarios that can happen. How do I relate to this as a trader? How do you relate to this? How do you manage this? What's the mindset that you really take to kind of deal with this and still make money at the end? So your first question is, since you don't wait for confirmation price section signals, how do you know what is the exact price you're going to get in? So if we're talking about, let's just talk about price action. When it comes to deciding where I want to get in in terms of my price, the exact price I want to get in. First off, the way I trade price action is I have this model or framework for basically deciding or finding trade opportunities and then helping decide, okay, who's in control of the order flow, who's not? Uh, what's the overall dominant trend? What kind of type, what type of trend are we in, environment are we in? And where are key locations where the order flow is really strong and I think institutional players are not only getting in, but will be defending, will be interested in attacking. You know, these are key areas where I think there's gonna be a large concentration of order flow. Overall framework is called price action context. And I have three pillars within this framework to really kind of help me understand all of what's going on behind the market in terms of the dominant order flow and where I wanna be trading with that. All these pillars really help me find trade locations that I wanna be getting in and the direction, type of trend environment, everything. In terms of the exact price, once I have the general trade location, then the next part of my process I'm going through is, I'll put a horizontal line in the general area where I think I wanna get in, and then I start matching it up based upon those models and basing upon the price action, I'm like, okay, how does this fit with that? And I just sit there and kind of move it around and get kind of this precise feel for, okay, based on this, this is where I think is the most optimal location. And then I start measuring out, okay, if this trade idea is invalid, you know, where is that? Where's that point where I feel like, hey, if I'm wrong, I don't wanna be in this trade anymore. That's my stop loss. And so that's all based upon the models of price action context that I'm using. And then I look for my take profit target. And if the risk to reward makes sense, and I feel like the probabilities are in my favor, then I make the trade. In terms of the precision, precision is something that's going to come in time. I've done tens of thousands of trades. And so my precision over all those trades has just gotten better and better and better. Keep in mind, you really can't work on refining your trade location until you have a baseline about how you should be performing. So first you have to be kind of coming up with your, you build your skills, you get a trading plan, and then you start trading the market and you get stats and data and feedback from the market about how well you're performing. Once that baseline is solid enough to where you have a slight edge in your favor, 
then we can start working on refining your entries. And that's the first thing you want to be working on is refining your entries to get more and more precise in terms of your trade location. That takes time, that takes hundreds and hundreds of reps, and that's a skill that you'll build over time. You know, if you were just to start off in archery, when you first pick up the bow and arrow and you start shooting, you're just happy to hit the target the first few times. But if you've been doing it for a year, you're past that phase of like, okay, I'm no longer focusing on just hitting the target. Now I'm working on precision. And an archer, the way they work on precision is first they want to group their arrows together. And by grouping them together, that means from shot to shot to shot, their technique is relatively the same. The pullback pressure is the same, the distance is the same, the release, all this is the same. And then once they have that, then they start refining it to get more on point in the center of the target. That is how I approach trading. First, you have to build a baseline, which is in archery terms, just being happy to hit the target. So you get a baseline, which is showing, hey, you're marginally profitable. So you have a small technical edge right now. Then what you want to do is we want to start making sure that your execution and process is the same from trade to trade to trade. So it's absolutely bulletproof. So your execution, your, your mindset, your thought process, everything is just on point. So you're always doing the same thing every single time in terms of how you execute mentally. And then from there, we can really start to zero into your trade entries and start looking at that and look at the data and then seeing how we can refine that to improve your trade locations and get more and more precision out of it. So that is how I know what the exact prices I'm gonna get in is that first I have the baseline, then after that, I'm refining the skill, making sure there's consistency of execution. And then from there, we're looking at data. And I prefer data, not opinions when it comes to trading and improving performance. We look at the data and start looking at, okay, let's look at these trading locations. Let's look at all these different statistics around your trading performance. And then let's start refining it down so that we can get more and more precise as time goes on. Now, in terms of the other comments you had, you mentioned a few scenarios. Hey, the market can come one pit from my entry take off and go to my target. It can create a false break through my entry and then go to my target or it can just blow right through that. And so you're mentioning these different scenarios that you experience and that you're going to experience. It's You're gonna experience them as long as you're trading and hopefully you have a long successful trading career, but you're gonna experience this constantly. And so then you came down to a question, how do you manage all these uncertainties and still manage to be profitable in the long run? First off, your job as a trader is thinking and trading with a mindset that there is no certainties, so you can't avoid all the uncertainties. You're gonna to have to learn to deal with these uncertainties. You have to do it in a mindset that thinks in terms of probabilities. So you start thinking, hey, I've traded this setup of mine before hundreds of times. The probability say if I trade this 100 times, I'm gonna make money. I may lose the next trade, I may win the next trade, but over 100, I'm gonna make money over time. So you're trading and thinking of probabilities. And so in terms of managing the uncertainties, the first thing you need to do is think with a probabilistic mindset. Think and trade in terms of probabilities. That's the first thing you gotta do. You gotta take a mindset approach so that you're not necessarily thinking about how can I manage all the uncertainties because you can't, but how can I manage the bulk of the ones I'm gonna experience over time so that the probabilities work out in my favor? That's the first thing you need to do. The second thing you need to do is examine like, okay, am I the trader who has four, six, eight hours a day to sit behind the computer and sit behind the charts and be able to watch trades happening in real time so as the price comes down to my level or the trading location I wanna get in, I can decide, hey, do I wanna get in a little bit earlier? Do I wanna get in a little bit later? That's a skill you're gonna to have to build over time. You're gonna need the time and availability to do that, but then you have to build that skill. And that skill is really the ability to read price action in real time on multiple time frames, so that you can kind of look with a larger time frame and a smaller time frame, get some sort of precision and view together, and then say, okay, I think the market is bottoming out here. This is where I wanna get in. It's you know a few pips better than my entry. Now I wanna get in, bam, let's do it. So that's option one. You learn how to manage your trades in real time. If you don't have that time, then you have to go to option two, which is you just are gonna have to set what you think is the best price based upon your trading plan, make that trade, let it happen, and then get feedback from the market. Did that work out? How precise was my allocation? That is something you're gonna to wanna to again, work with data. You're gonna to wanna to look at the statistics and refine that over time. So option one is manage it in real time. And option two is you set your price based upon your models and framework for trading, and then you continue to refine that approach over time. 
So Dennis, I hope this answers your question. I wanna thank you for that, it was a good question. And I think it's a question that many struggling traders have experienced, and especially when you're, you're still kind of getting familiar with the repetitions and the processes and the experience of trading and what to expect and what kind of mindset you need to have around this. With that being said, did you enjoy this video? If so, please give it a thumbs up, a like, share it with your friends that you think will benefit from it, and also leave your feedback on it. You know, we are looking to get feedback on this new series. This new series is really about you, the community, asking questions, challenges that you've experienced. How do I get past this? How do you deal with this? These videos are to help you build a skill set and a knowledge base that's gonna help you become a better trader today. That's our goal, is to help you become a better trader today. So with that being said, I look forward to your comments and feedback from it, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.